Hi, I'm Janine Falcon. I'm the founder of I'mABeautyGeek.com. Now, I've been hearing some hair salon horror stories. This is about people getting burned by hot tools, or getting cut, or having terrible damage done to their hair. So today, I've come to one of Toronto's top salons to talk to some experts about how you can avoid these disasters in the future. Hi, Janine. Have a seat. Thanks. Some of the uh, concerns that a consumer would have is whether or not this person is trained well enough, making sure that you know, you're know you covered and the product isn't gonna be touching your skin and staining it and causing any kind of skin irritations. Those products actually swell the cuticle of the hair. So we need to make sure that we're doing hair and scalp analysis. It's imperative that someone who's doing hair in Ontario is a licensed hairstylist. And one of the ways that you could really be sure is if you were given a name of a hairstylist and thought you might like to visit them, you could actually look them up on the registry at the College of Trades. There is a public register where you could actually search and find out if that hairstylist is a member and if they're in good standing. Amazing, so I can do my research. Absolutely. Is there anything else that I should be looking for at the salon? You want it to be clean, sanitary, and that can start right from the chair when you're coming in for your haircut. So before I get my combs and brushes, they should be stored away in a drawer, clean for when I use them on you. Once I'm done using them, I do want to put them into a container that I know that they are dirty tools. So we're working with our metal implements, scissors, razors. We're going to wipe them free of hair, product, debris. So we can either have a spray bottle with alcohol and spray them off with 70% alcohol, or sometimes we have an immersion tray so they're clean for the next guest. Wow, I had no idea there was so much training when it comes to health and safety. Thank you. You're very welcome. I have learned so much today. I didn't realize that hairstylists needed to be licensed or how much safety training is involved. And it is so easy to find things out because it's okay to ask questions. Ask your hairstylist if you can see his or her certification. Or you can check the Ontario College of Trades Public Register. You can see more on my blog, imabeautygeek.com, or you can visit collegeoftrades.ca.